The graphs of some basic polynomials. So for this part, we're going to look at the graph of some polynomials. And some of these are going to be familiar to you, some of you are not, but we're going to go through the same process just to make sure we understand how we got the basic graphs for all these. Okay, so right here I have f of x is equal to x. Okay, so you should hopefully recognize this is a line, but we're going to go through the process just so you see exactly how we get these points. So over here I have a table. I have certain values of x and certain values of f of x, the value that comes out of it. So if x is negative 2, the same value comes out because f of x is just equal to x. So this ends up being negative 2 as well. All of these values are just going to go in and come out exactly the same. So we end up with negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Okay. These then can all coordinate, correspond to points on the graph. Okay. So we have negative 2, negative 2. And I'm not going to make my graph exact, but just enough so to give us an idea of what exactly is happening. Point negative 2, negative 2, negative 1, negative 1. 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. So we end up with a line, slope 1, passing through the origin. We already knew that from just what we know about lines, but going through a process, we were able to figure out what this polynomial function looks like.